What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be finishing off my brother's four door. We're gonna be bleeding the system. I need to put the injectors back on. I already ended up putting the breather hose, or not the breather hose, the brake booster hose on. Gotta put the fuel roll back on, which is very simple. And my brother went ahead and already threw the intake in here. I think before I started making videos, he had a little short ram intake, but he ended up getting a K-Tune or something intake, long ram. Since, I mean, it doesn't really rain here and we don't really drive our cars in the rain. I need to change the O-rings on all the injectors before I put the fuel roll back on. I kind of wish I, ha I still had the slim plugs, but we're gonna change them out one at a time. If you guys ever pull off your injectors or anything, Especially the OEM ones. They're not as bad, but I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's like less than 12 bucks from Honda, actual OEM Honda parts. And then I think the big ones are PCA. Small ones are the, P or the big ones are the PNAs. Small ones are the PCA. Let's get to changing out the O ring so we could put the fuel roll back on, add coolant, drop the car out, make sure it's wizard tight. Right now, the bumper beam's off because he's in the backyard painting it. It was dirty, and I think when we painted the whole engine bay, he didn't paint the bumper support yet until now. He painted those brackets. Looking clean. Ready to pull this car out and wash it. It's been in there for, well, a month. It's not that bad because we were just waiting on the thermostat housing from Tracta. I threw the O-rings on. Now the fuel is on. Now to connect the fuel feed, which I have going through the center of the manifold. Right here. Oh wait, before I do that. Gotta grab the injector harness. Or I'll do that first. Got the injector harness up. Now I can do the fuel rail. Wow, I'm surprised I was able to do that with one hand. Four, three, two, one. This way. Should, should I do it the front way or the back way? There we go. That works. All right. Now to tighten this. So I don't have an AA wrench, but this works. There we go. Now, if I'm correct, everything should be good. I'm gonna just zip tie these back up. Cause I did have to uh, cut the zip tie to take off the manifold. So clean this up. And then now we can add coolant and bleed the car. The bumper beam's painted. I'm gonna just pre-fill this with coolant since there is nothing in the system. And just check for quick leaks. And that that will pull the car out and uh, bleed the system. But we're only going to be using uh, Honda coolant. That's what we've been using. Actually, for all the cars. So. Let's fill this thing up. I need like two bottles. I don't know. We didn't crack up in the water from nothing. Thing empty. Nice. I wonder if it's. Do, 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 double check. 
Yeah, they already took a whole gallon. It's very calm. We're gonna come back out. They still gotta go up to the hose too. Right? He's barely making it to the top. That's so satisfying to watch. Are you gonna check your oil? Yeah, I need to get oil. <coughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. Are you doing it with a funnel? Mm. Fuck! That's why you don't leave bolts on the floor. I remember those times when I had a brand new SR lip. I don't have a car anymore. Do they PF PF back here too? Uh, I don't know. I can't tell because this is a line from the factory too. This line right here. Hmm. But yeah. Let's see. So it protects it from yellowing, scratches. I wonder how far they PPF'd it. This one probably down here. Oh no. They, you can feel it. They only did the front lens. See? Like, you can feel I, the outline. Oh. Better than nothing. Oh, look, look, look at this side watch. It's so sick. Brand new in the sun. Yeah. You can see any, uh, oh, so yeah. it protects us from any squirrels too, as well. Oh, well, it's well. a good investment. I mean, yeah, no, those are nice. How much was it? 150, 12 year warranty. I'm talking about the headlights. Uh, or you don't want to talk I about I got it for five. So I technically got it for five. It's, it's listed for nine. Okay. <laughs> Forgot I had this I thing. I old ones before. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I didn't Oh. I do have a car still. Uh, it's just chilling on. Yeah, it's chilling right here. But got the Mugen duck bill on this. This thing needs a wash though. There's cats around here too that just kind of uh, crawl on my car, so they leave marks on the hood. But all right, back this thing up. While I'm waiting for my brother to finish adding oil. Wait, did you add oil? Okay, I bought a couple new things for this. This is the major thing that I've been waiting for. This is the Chimera rear caliper bracket. It's just a okay. One is it's more of a fancy uh, caliper bracket, but two is I need to fix this issue I'm having with the Tiger bracket. So this is the full hard racing kit uh, that you can buy from hard racing. It comes with the Bremo P34s, P32. I forget which one these ones are, and it comes with this Tiger rear bracket. And you can see that due to the spacing on the wheels, on the M7s, the spacing on the wheels, the hub or how these, you know, these grounds are meant to fit wider wheels, so this is all custom. Uh, the spacing is, I think, is causing my caliper or something to grind on this. And you can kind of see that it's maybe the pad. And I believe that um, the caliper is not sitting correctly because I had to add an extra washer right here so that this bracket wouldn't drag on the rotor. But I think it made the caliper crooked or not seat flat and is only biting on the outside it's, and something's grinding on here. So with this Chimera bracket, it should fix it. It's gonna relocate the caliper up to the top. It locks up right now perfectly fine, but it's when I come to a slow stop, it's screeching, which is where all this is coming from. And it matches my extended um, my extensions, my Chimera extensions, and I do have the Chimera front caliper brackets right here too. And I did pick up new engine plugs, driven racing, nothing fancy. I wanted to get rid of the red ones because I was kind of an eyesore, but before I do that, I'm going to pull off the tappet covers and then do a valve lash. Just recheck the valve lash because these motors are quite ticky, just regular 125s, they're really, really ticky. But once you go big bore on one of these, they tick a lot more. And it doesn't hurt to double check on the uh, valve clearances. But how's it going over here? Done? 
Nah, I need more. You need more oil? God damn. It's like almost five, but it's, it's like four and a half. Also, because you had it sitting on a jack, so all the oil is pushed to the back. And the dipstick's like in the front. Don't overfill it. Check up on the daily. There, you can see the freaking cat's been crawling. Um, but nothing fancy right now. I just, I got a new, well, new use your R front lip before that one was cracked. Got a Mugen front grill, uh, the CL9 OEM HID headlights, not those eBay ones, you guys know me. These are actually the OEM Honda ones with the projectors in it. So these are really nice. And nothing else. I, just, I barely even drive this thing here since I got my Grom. I honestly probably put like 2,000 miles on it or like I drive it once a week, a weekend. Just so I can wash the car, which I need to do after this. Ready? Damn, dude, it's almost five quarts, still not enough oil. Okay, just leave it full. We'll turn on the motor and we'll check it. That's weird. I don't just keep adding oil, you might overfill it. No. Alright, put the cap on back to just turn it on. Like I said, the motor's just, this car's sitting on the jack, so the oil's probably pushed to the back. Uh, yeah, just tie your lug nuts when you back it out. Should I just do it now? No, you just back it out while it's bleeding right there. You could, um, uh, what is it? Torque the wheels down. Put, yeah, your battery's not, your ground's not connected. Prime it first. This has been sitting and I don't have the fuel line. All right, turn off, prime it one more time. All right, go ahead and start it. There you go. Okay, now I'll just back it out real quick. It's going to reverse? Here, I'll push you, I'm gonna push you. Oh shit, Gula came out. He's coming out of the overflow. Check for leaks too. That hose was a pain in the ass to get to. Oh, here's his new wheels outside the Koenig. Not bad. Everything's good. We had to clean the ground, but the fan turns on. Uh, I forgot to record it, but. All good, now he's gonna put his headlights on, bumper on, and your car is pretty much ready to roll. And I noticed that... Let's see. Bought a, the hybrid to team rod and shift knob. Did you polish it? No. Oh. It's not, oh, you didn't, it's not ashy like my other one. I don't like... Uh, oh, it don't look fine. bad. What are these Kona decagrams? Are they what they're called? 16, 8, 35. It's not a bad wheel, but he's getting different wheels. He's going five lugs. This is just for now.
time has passed, helmet here because I just took my Grom run some errands, pick up uh, new headlight bulbs for my brother's car since he didn't have any. And he got oh, he got one side on. Oh yeah, headlight bulbs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, three three one one SR three. Holy crap. These headlights, they do have the little, see that little box? The motor. the motor to adjust the headlights while inside the car. These do have city lights. These look like regular SR headlights. I mean, technically they are, but they are slightly different. You can see this has a little headlight shield, which prevents it from scattering. Because on these headlights, if you guys don't know, with HIDs or any type of bulb, JDM headlights or just headlights in general, they have so much uh, spread and uh, they, sh they go all over the place. But these have the little Look. metal retainers and the little reflector. Can see the Vallejo. Can we see They're it? EDM. On a Vallejo. Yeah, yeah, pretty much EDM. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm gonna light it. I'm gonna turn it on real quick. This is the city lights. Oh, okay, it works, cool. Brand new headlights. Can never go wrong with brand new headlights, especially on these cars. They're getting more scarce to find or harder to find, but um, damn. And luckily, this car stays in the garage, so it doesn't sit all day or sit in the sun all day unless he takes it to work or something. Then they, they will stay forever like this. It's always out of the sun. Damn. Super nice. And his bumper. When are you gonna get your new wheels? Next month. Next month? But then we'll sell them anyways. That's true. Um, I got my SSRs over here. These are actually, uh, I got these for really cheap as a full set of Type F. I'm gonna paint them black and then run them in the back so it'd be like a stagger setup. So it'd be 18 by nines in the front, and then 18 by seven halves, which would be these, the flat faces. All my TSX. Oh, and let me show you guys the canopy setup. And it's just my TSX sitting here because I don't drive anymore. I, I gave it a wash. Uh, but yeah, let's see on there. I literally only drive that once a week. I think last year, what well, because of COVID happened, but I think this whole year, since the beginning of this year until now, it's what, April? I probably only put like 200 miles on that T6. I don't even drive anymore. All the miles go on this thing, which I'll probably be making a video on the Shamir River bracket. But that's it for this video, guys. Don't let us just keep building. And I'll keep you guys updated with this dude's car since I don't have a car. Damn, so clean. The headlights.